Hey, this is Mike with the Auto Expo. Got something really unusual here again. If you saw the other video that we did on the Chevy C60, same builder, same guys, got this beast of a vehicle I'm gonna be selling. I actually have not seen one of these in the book in 20 years of doing business, so we wanted to actually uh, show this to you. This is actually a uh, 1995 Stuart Stevenson military vehicle. It's uh, four wheel drive and it's been converted into uh, the baddest RV you've ever seen. This is a true off-road survivalist kind of vehicle. These things will go through anything. Um, and this is an ex-military vehicle. And we're gonna take a quick walk around and show you what all has been done to this. Um, first off, uh, you're looking at an Allison automatic transmission coupled with a cat engine in there, cat diesel. This truck is all new on the inside. This was a flatbed originally, so this entire box on the back has been made brand new for this purpose. Interesting fact about these trucks, the, uh, some of these had machine guns mounted on the top, others did not. And uh, you can see here in the roof, it acts the, the circle panel there. You can also tell when it has this bar in the middle, that's to help support the extra weight of the machine gun that would have been on top of this truck originally. The cab has pretty much been left as it is. Let's see if I can climb up in here. It is a climb to get up in it. There we go. climb up in the back here in a minute take a look these are uh, the air tanks for the brakes front brakes rear brakes center tank allows you to add or remove air pressure from the tires uh, on the fly from buttons on the dash which is actually pretty freaking awesome that's what this assembly here on the wheels is about and this is a brand new own generator in there like I said, most of the truck uh, stuff that's been built for the RV portion of this is all brand new stuff. Uh, there is a ladder that stows underneath, but for purposes of this, we pulled this ladder up so I can climb up in there, but it does have a ladder, so you wouldn't have to be doing this out in the middle of the wilderness. And the entrance is here in the back, and you gotta see this, check this out. This has been really well built. The craftsmanship is just awesome here. All of this is new. Got ceiling lights across there. There's a sink, two burner stove. Really nice sized fridge. It's got a huge freshwater tank on it. Designed actually with the desert in mind. There's a bed, and a couch and a bed. There's another bunk up here. Kind of goes back into the cubby hole. You got the AC right there. Ceiling, and then check this out. This door here, it's a real household type door, it goes into this full bath here. I guess a, the sink's out here, of course, but there's a toilet, cabinetry. Nice size shower in there. There we go. Now, if this looks like something that you've got to have, you can check it out at theautoexpo.com where you find this and a few other RVs, but honestly, nothing quite like this. Again, it's theautoexpo.com and the Auto Expo Magazine. Thanks for looking.